bet there's many on this call who, like me, love the Swiss cheese model, the accident theory. And I ran clinics in the Department of Veterans Affairs, which is my legacy, for patients who would come into our clinic who were at risk for falls. And every patient comes to us, and, and in your care, every patient who comes to us has their own block of Swiss cheese. So you can take that block of Swiss cheese, and when you slice it up, every single slice in that block of Swiss cheese is a fall risk factor. So in accident theory, what has to happen is all the holes through the slices of that block of Swiss cheese have to align for an accident to occur. Because for the most part, every day throughout our day, we have lots of protective barriers that prevent us from falling. And so the holes through the, holes through the slices of the block of Swiss cheese do not align. We are meant to stay vertical. We are not falling every day. We've got lots of proprioception and reflexes that keep us vertical and help us to be able to correctly and quickly self-correct if we're starting to lose some balance. So I like to apply this to every single patient. When patients would come into my care in my clinics, I would, and even in my care as a rehab clinical nurse specialist, I would sit down with patients and I would take this block of Swiss cheese and we'd divide it up. You know, here's this slice and we'd go through this like a story. And we would paint all of the fall risk factors that patients have and then help them to appreciate that there's some that are modifiable and some that are not. The ones that are modifiable we want to treat, the ones that are not modifiable we're going to help people compensate for. And I know you do this as well in your care. But trying to understand when someone's um, protective barriers fell through is all part of post-fall management. So if you do have people who fall in your care, you should know dearly what protective barrier fell through that they actually had a fall and that they got injured. And this is true with falls that happen from beds, people trying to get up without you.